what to do if your iPad is not connecting to Wi-Fi. For that, we want to go to settings. In settings, by default, you come up to general, but we want to go to Wi-Fi. Now that we are in Wi-Fi, we want to try turning off the Wi-Fi. As you can see, I just toggled it off. And then you want to try toggling it back on. And what is this going to do? So this is just going to reconnect your iPad to the network. And hopefully that is going to get your Wi-Fi going. If that still doesn't happen, we can click on I and then click on forget this network. So what we are doing here is telling the iPad to forget the network. You will no longer connect to it and you no longer know the password to it, which is fine. Then we want to go back to the same Wi-Fi, put in the password and click on join. As you can see, we have clicked on join and it has connected and basically that should be giving you your internet. The next option is trying to turn off your iPad and turning it back on. To do that, we can just hold the power button down. Siri will activate, we are going to hold it down further and nothing happens. So you might have already seen my video on how to turn off the iPad if that doesn't work. If you don't know though, you can just press volume up, volume down and then the power button. And here you can see we can slide it to power off. And here you basically want to power your iPad off and start it back up. If none of that works, uh, you may want to reset your network settings. For that, you want to go to settings and then in general, we want to scroll down till you see transfer or reset iPad. Click on that. And here we have another option to reset. Click on reset and it will give you all settings, network settings and multiple other things. In this case, we want to uh, click on reset network settings and that is going to basically reset your network settings. But don't do that immediately because you will have to remember all your Wi-Fi passwords because it is going to delete each and every Wi-Fi that you have ever connected on your iPad. And that is a precaution that you need to take. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If it has been, do make sure to like, share and subscribe.